So I'm going to try. <coughs> I'm going to try and uh, show you how to prepare and connect one of the um, sockets. Now, uh, this probably won't go very well because I don't have a very good filming setup at the moment. But uh, well, here goes. So you want to remove about 30 millimeters of the outer sheath. All right, guys. So we see the content creator here getting his cables prepped in order to once again start the soldering process the thing to keep in mind and i cannot emphasize this enough is you can certainly do the measurement process that he's doing i find measurements like that typically to be off especially if you've never worked with double shielded cable before and the thing to keep in mind is that naturally double shield cable is very expensive if you screw up and actually remove too much casing, too little casing is easy to, to rectify, but too much casing means you may have to purchase another cable. I recommend using a template. I prefer toothpicks because usually the amount of cable casing you're removing is very, very minimal, and it should always be minimal in best practice. I will show you the method I use in conjunction with the before of this content creator to go back and forth so you can see one technique versus the other and why I've selected it. Right guys, what I have here on the bench is the example of the tools that you'll be working with. In my case, I'm using a large HY spindle connector for this example. Once again, connector type is irrelevant. Any connector this will work with, I do have a piece of 16 gauge DS Flex double shielded right here. Uh, it's about a foot long. Uh, Sharpie marker, we've got here a toothpick and a straight edge razor blade. Once again, real basic, we're just discussing the section of the video that once again, you've already seen the content creator talk about measuring and all this nice and clean. So once we've got that and everything is set, let's keep our area nice and clean. Let's give us the measuring area that we are gonna work with. So we're gonna stay right about here. And again, that's pretty tight. And I'll just take this, lay this on my cable, very simple, and make an incision right there. And I'm doing it once again with the razor. Here's the content creator's method. And again, this is not best practice. Um, at the end of the day, you've got, to, you've got to actually wire this thing up. And if you're like me and nowhere near being a pro, um, giving yourself an extra couple of mil of cable to play with really helps. So it's better to have a, a couple of mil unshielded than to screw up the connection because you haven't got enough wire 